Welcome to the Hacking Your Leadership guest series, where we explore leadership and culture through the eyes of leaders around the world. That's right, Chris. We hand-selected leaders that we believe are positively influencing leadership in their industries. We sent them four questions we think are important in gaining insight to their leadership beliefs and style. If you'd like to be part of the Hacking Your Leadership guest series, shoot us an email to guest at hackingyourleadership.com and let's talk. And now, today's guest. My name is Lily Sanabria, and thanks for listening to the Hacking Your Leadership podcast guest series. The most impactful leader or mentor in my life. So as a Christian, I'm compelled to respond from my core. And so the leader who impacted me the most has been Jesus. Now, it wasn't always this way. In fact, if you know my journey, My first encounters were fist raised to him and his followers in anger and disbelief. I then studied his life, his walk, and his words. I reasoned through things. I looked at his call to integrity, forgiveness, adding value to others, stepping into our greatness, loving, reasoning, purpose, influence, self-worth, trust, courage, so many values. This laid the foundation for my work personally and professionally in education and in leadership. I do have to also mention my other current mentors, Dr. John Maxwell and Paul Martinelli, who's the president of the John Maxwell team. They are effective leaders who pour into others so generously, and they highly value those around them. And they work daily to grow in wisdom. And I believe that wisdom is so interconnected with humility and that you can't have one without the other. Lastly, Brene Brown. She's a powerful leader who has impacted me with her work on authenticity and courage. The first mistake I made as a leader of people and what I learned from that, well, I've made many mistakes, and I'm not sure that this was my first, but certainly one of the most impactful mistakes I've made was not digging deeper and using my voice when I saw and experienced something that wasn't quite right in an organization. I followed the status quo because it felt more comfortable than standing up. What I learned is that if not you, then who? There are situations in life that will cause us to look deep and to take a stand in faith, even if those around you don't quite see it yet. I'm also on a continuous journey to withhold judgment, right? Humans, we are judgmental. And what I practice daily is seeing that most human beings mean well and operate from their current space of awareness with limiting beliefs and limiting tools. The difference between a good leader and a great leader. Gosh, I was so tempted to Google this, but here is my heart. From over 20 years of observing and studying leadership and having interviewed many leaders on Master Leadership Podcast, short and sweet, a good leader looks to lead himself or herself well so that they can lead others well. A great leader knows that he or she must lead themselves well so that they can equip others to become great leaders. How do I measure success as a leader of people and developer of talent? I'll respond to this from the perspective of a coach. And by the way, I believe that most successful leaders are those who learn to coach well. So as a coach, success is measured by the degree of growth in others based on their own goals and objectives. So for the coachee, success can be accomplished daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, depending on what they want, with deep listening, accountability, value, and focus from the coach. It's measured by the goals accomplished or the tasks that are adjusted to meet those goals. For the coach, success is taking others further than they thought they could go. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. Learn more about our work at masterleadership.org.